Good morning, good morning. Welcome to your European Morning Update. It's been an absolute battering for global markets over the last 24 hours. And we have got some comeback this morning uh, across the board, but just dive in, first of all, to yesterday's brutal sell-off. Bitcoin uh, briefly sinking below 30,000, or taking a low around 30,000 anyway. Um, lowest since, uh, well, we're just testing these lows back from uh, from the summer of 2021. Uh, you can see the importance of that support level. Elsewhere, the Nasdaq was off 4%, S&P down over 3 We're making new 52-week lows on these markets, and they are really struggling, as you can see. Uh, weakest since March 21 there for, uh, for the, the Nasdaq. In fact, I think it touched its lowest since uh, back here around November 2020. VIX so has actually come down a bit, so at least it's come back down this morning. Futures are a tad higher in early trade. The dollar's not doing an awful lot right now. It's steady at the moment. Um, I think we might have had a monthly chart on here or something, maybe um, weekly. If we look at the weekly, no, four hour. Just trying to get these uh, MACD signals to make sense. There we go. So yeah, just a bit of indecision at the moment. You can just see that bullish crossover followed by a bearish one there, just sitting around there. Lots of indecision in, in the dollar at the moment, not doing an awful lot. Some numbers out from buyers, some good numbers from them. Uh, Renault, also a uh, French car maker, announced plans to sell just over a third of its Korea unit to Chinese rival uh, Geely Automobile. All prices were lower on uh, on Tuesday as well. Uh, just bouncing a little bit uh, this morning, but uh, it's a tough session for the oil market yesterday. Nat gas also coming down sharply from uh, from its uh, from its recent 13-year high. So big decline there for Nat gas if you're trading that one. Um, and I know a few of you are. That's a 23% move in three sessions. Uh, so that's uh, that is interesting to say the least. So there's lots going on out there. Um, we're looking to see really today whether or not the market can bounce um, off the off the off the decline from yesterday. The S and P did go below. Uh, it moved below four thousand for the first time uh, I think since uh, way back in April 21. Um, it has recovered a little bit of that this morning in the futures markets but still looking tremendously uh, weak if somewhat oversold for the moment. We'll try and bring you some more updates later.